Hey guys, welcome back to the tune-up. Philippians 2, 6 and 7 says, Who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. These famous words from martyred missionary Jim Elliott makes him a, a patron saint in my book. Here's what he said. He is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep in order to gain what he cannot lose. In one sentence, he captures the essence of what it means to risk spiritually. And while few of us will be called to give our lives, millions of us will be called to give our wills, our wills for his will. Material wealth for spiritual wealth. Earthly recognition for heavenly recognition. Carnal appetites for godly appetites. Career dreams for God's dreams. Corporate ladders for family health and competent compromise for spiritual integrity. Sacrifice and suffering, that, that loss for the sake of our faith, is what connects God with God's man. Jesus made, made fit to lead us through suffering. Naturally, if he lives in you, God will make you fit by calling you to a sacrificial life. And more importantly, sacrifice for Christ is what unites you more deeply with Christ. How else could, could the Apostle Paul write, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his suffering. We find that in Philippians 3. Men who dare greatly for their faith have asked and answered this question. Am I willing to sacrifice my agenda in order to be used for God's agenda? So have you thought about how you will answer that question? That'll give you something to think about the rest of this week. So until next time, May God bless.